Lordship, this matter is regarding the post of constable, your Lordship. Post of constable. Ah. So an advertisement or shoot, and a petitioner applied for the advertisement. He qualified the examination, and he was given the joining letter, your Lordship. After that, when he went to join uh, his post, he was not allowed to join because it was said there was a criminal case. Uh, pending against him, your lordship. Well, there was a uh, uh, criminal case against him, your lordship. This is which department? A uh, police. Police, police, your lordship. A state police. A state police, your lordship. Uh, sir, kindly see the. No, let me see the uh, which part of the order. Please come to page seventeen. Yes, sir, your lordship. May read it from the top. Let the learned counsel for the parties and produce the record. From the perusal of the record, the undisputed fact being that the petitioner was appointed on the post of constable. Mm. He was appointed on the post of radio constable operator Bhopal, and his posting was given under Unit SSP. During the verification of testimonial and character certificate of the petitioner, it was found that he is having a criminal case registered in crime number three zero one of the fourteen at police station Kotwali. Although the petitioner has been acquitted from charge, but the acquittal was on, only on the basis of the compromise entered into between the parties. Just the same does not. Just mobile is ringing. Ah, uh, he was appointed for radio constable operator Bhopal. Yeah, his posting was given under U. Unit SSP. Ha. Huh. During the verification of testimonial and character certificate of the petitioner. It was found that he is having a criminal case registered in crime number such and such at police station Kotwali. Take one question to you. Uh, when were you appointed? I was given joining on 2014, your lordship. 2015, your lordship. Uh, P4 page 20 per repetition case. Aate. Or just a year before there was a criminal case against. Yes, sir. All and right. he was acquitted on the basis of compromise, your lordship. All right. All right. Lordship. Although the petition has been acquitted. Uh, although uh, the same does not amount to an honorable acquittal even otherwise uh, it is within the domain of the employer to consider the suitable for your lordship uh, uh, the same does not amount to clean acquittal even otherwise as per the dictum of honorable supreme court in the case of avtar singh the guideline have been framed wherein the honorable supreme court have categorically observed that it is within the domain of employer to consider the candidature of the candidate like petitioner and is having a right to refuse for issuance of appointment or permit him to join in view of the criminal antecedent. What was the offense? The offense was under your Lordship section 147, 148, 148, 198, 323, 294, 506B, and 447 of IPC, your Lordship. Oh. And when he filled up, filled up the form, your Lordship. He gave the due, uh, information regarding this criminal case registered against him, your lordship. But the honorable single bench has recorded. No, no. We are not on a point of suppression of material. We are on a point whether, despite there being a compromise, can you be said to be fit for police services? Because every service has its own has its own discipline, and police discipline as perceived by the Honorable Supreme Court and by us also, is a disciplined force. And person involved in some activity which may tend to amount to moral turpitude or may also affect the character of a person or a mindset of a person, whether such person who is found to have violated law in, with a, with a, with a, with with some overt act or with some act which tend amounts to which, which may reflect the criminality of the person, criminality in the mindset of a person. Whether such person is fit to be kept as a police person. See, if you see Joginder Singh's case, probably there's a DDS case, uh, the Delhi, uh, Delhi administration case, that man was having a hockey stick and he had brandished it and also had broken the window pans of the bus while intending to hit the passenger sitting inside. Though there was either compromise or acquittal, 
but it's still our Supreme Court has said that such person who, who indulges in such activity with an overt act is not, has rightly been found to be not fit to be in the employment for police. Now, in your case, maybe you have only caused simple hurt or alleged to have caused simple hurt. But you were part of an unlawful assembly armed with weapons. So there was a common, there was a motive. And intention might have been deferred on the spot, but motive was common. When you all went all together to cause injury to the uh, injured person. So this could be the reason for the management or the department to say that this man who, who is of this kind, that he's armed with a weapon with common motive for becoming and became a member of an unlawful assembly and attacked a person, though only simple hurt was found to have been caused. And you face trial, but during trial, things have been compromised. So you show me the law related to such kind of persons can also be admitted uh, in civil services. Because which, the one which I have given you talks about police services. Do you please look into that judgment and then address us? The concept of the appellant place for time, place after two days. Because it is not merely, acquittal is not sufficient. sufficient. And that too based on compromise.